staph typically lives where? On the skin, by the way, and in the nose. So right immediately in the nose and on the skin, that's staph. Strep likes to live in the back of the throat, and there is a species that lives on the teeth. That being said, do you guys remember that little lecture that I told you about portals of entry? That the back of the throat happens to be a portal of entry for some organisms. They can just penetrate those tissues right in the back of the throat and get to either the cerebral spinal fluid or the bloodstream. So when this organism gets into the bloodstream, it can then go to the heart. And it can then stick to the structures that are inside of the heart. You guys all remember the mitral valve, the tricuspid valve, the semilunar valves, the trabeculae, the papillary muscles, the chordae tendinae. You guys remembered all that. Inflammation of the sac, what is it called? The pericarditis. pericarditis. But that's not what this is. This is typically going to be what we call a bacterial endocarditis. It causes something called scarlet fever. And you typically see this in little kids. And sometimes it leaves scar tissue on the valves. Let me see if I have pictures of this. Yeah. 